vinyl community again. Third video in two days. This one is vinyl pickups and vinyl finds. Um, a little stack here. Try not to make this too long because I always go too long sometimes. So I'll go a little shorter, hopefully. Let's start off with this one. I, uh, I mentioned in my first video I did that I had a White Lion album. Um, but it was at an edge warp, so it wouldn't play, it skipped. And I finally found another one, somebody's selling on Facebook. There it is, White Lion Pride. Fairly cheap. Um, yeah. It's not warped. <clears throat> and then, these next ones are thrift store finds from the Listen. During the week, I stop there every day, see if they have anything. Usually, it's nothing, the same old junk. Maybe not junk to some people, I guess. But, um, not this, not yesterday, but a week ago, I stopped there after work, and they just put out a whole stack of records. Not great finds, but there's some interesting stuff. This is a little thing I uh, screwed up on. I bought Foreigner albums. Thinking they were different albums, but they're the same one. Score, foreigner. And cut. Okay. So, sorry about that. Two foreigner albums, same one. It's a double vision, different covers. I believe they're earlier pressings, but. One's different than the other, as you can see. The double vision's up here on this one and down here on this one. Didn't realize it until I got home. I was looking at them. Um, yeah. Whatever. I'll just keep whatever one's better, I guess. And this one was there once before. Somebody had drawn uh, fake beards and mustaches. I think I saw something online that there was a uh, I don't know. It's a different picture. that was on the back. Yeah, that's what it was. Somebody had drawn facial hair on these guys on the cover. It's a monkey's headquarters. I need to pick the one up with the beard stuff because you know, this was here. Pretty nice copy. Um, I just always said this is the first print because of this picture right here. It's a different one. And later pressings. Not that the monkeys are really worth a lot of money anyway, you know, but I said it's correct. I kind of like the monkeys, so um, yeah, and the old school cold gems label. Here's the opening. Stupid sleeves. Couple Chicago's here. Chicago 16. And what is this one? Oh, Chicago's greatest hits. This one. I don't think I've ever heard these guys, but look like a cool cover. I think somebody showed this on some other videos before or something. Um, it's Petra. This is more power to you. <clears throat> it's kind of cool looking cover. One of those blind buys I was talking about in one of my other videos. We'll see. <clears throat> this is an album I've never seen. I, looking at it, I don't know any of the songs on here. Doobie Brothers, uh, Stampede, Doobie Brothers, so probably not one of their best albums. And this band is another blind buy. 
just the cover looked cool and I thought, oh, I bet they're like punk or heavy metal or something, you know, it's cool. And looking at the back, you'd think so. Maybe they are. It's a resurrection band, or res band on here, live bootleg. Gonna find out they're a Christian, Christian band, Christian rock band. Um, I may listen to it. I try not to judge music on uh, religion and stuff. I can help it. Unless they get preachy in the music. And then I don't listen to it. But we'll see. It doesn't look like anything like that. You know, the songs like Military Man, Game Room, Playground, White Noise, Can't Stop Loving You. Wendy's rap, Glenn's rap, I know, it might be alright, we'll see. Let's see, a few more from the thrift store. It's a good one though, Joan Jett, Bad Reputation. What's this uh, song that's on here? Do You Want to Touch Me? I think that was a big hit off of this. One second. Okay. Some uh, pop rock here. Ario Speedwagon. Wheels are turning. Uh, can't fight this feelings on here. Except Dad likes REO Speedwagon, earlier stuff. Keeping with that same kind of pop rock stuff, some air supply. Uh, All Out of Love is on this. That's the only one I know. <coughs> it's kind of a weird. What's this Lost in Love? What's. Why is it in front of a building? It's Lost in Love. I. I don't know. And this one was another blind buy there. I had never heard of this band. Um, they're a punk band, I think that it said. 1984. Um, 77s. All Fall Down. Yeah, I don't know anything about this band. Just but I think it's a punk band. Yeah, we'll see. I like finding new music, so. Alright, now, uh, do this one. I think. Oh, wait. This one is from my thrift store as well. Alter Boys, When You're a Rebel. Obviously, punk. This, this was a blind buy as well, it just looked cool. And this right here it had a piece of tape across here like this and I pulled most of it off but I couldn't get the edge I pulled that off I was so upset okay that's it for the thrift store stuff so I got two here from the Newberry Comics where I uh, the last final finds, I think. Yeah, the last one I I went to Newberry's and I, uh, I bought three or four albums of Sabotage and the Possessed albums. And I said I left a couple there. Uh, and I said if I go back when I have more money, they're still there, I'll buy them. One of them was Floss and the Jetsam. Um, the Doomsday for the Deceiver. <coughs> and I was kind of wondering why it was still there and I realized it's got a hole punch and this is like this and the jacket's pretty beat I mean, it's, it's 
it's not falling apart. I mean, there's no, it's worn on the edges a little bit. There's no seam split here though. But it's definitely an early pressing at least, possibly even a first pressing. Cause it's got this old school metal blade. In here, center, drawing a blank what it's called now, Jesus, center label. So, I mean, who cares what it looks like to me? As long as the record plays, it doesn't matter what the jacket looks like. As a guy that I watch from Canada, Naz Nomad says all the time. He's playing the record, not the jacket, so I kind of feel the same way. Now this one is another one from Newberries that I originally looked at and said, no, I'm not going to get it. But it was still there, and I decided to get it. I don't even know if I want to show this cover, because I don't want to offend anybody with this cover. Um, I'm going to show you the back. The band's called Impulse Manslaughter. They are a, what did they say it was? It's a metal, hardcore, slam band kind of, I think. That's what it said. Um, I'll show the cover real quick. Don't get offended, anybody please. Uh, it's not my intention to offend anybody with this cover. It's pretty graphic, and anybody out there that watches my video that is religious, like super religious, might get offended. And don't take offense, okay? That's the cover. Look at it. He who laughs last laughs, laughs alone. I mean, I haven't listened to it yet, but yeah, it has some sticker residue on it. But like I said, don't get offended by that cover. A lot of metal bands have crazy covers that normal people get offended by, so. It's not my intention to offend anybody, okay? Moving right along. I went up, to, took a trip up to um, Barry, Barry, Vermont, to Exile on Main Street. I picked up some stuff. Um, didn't have a whole lot I was interested in, really. A couple metal items. Like this Wasted Youth. Um, this actually has a name. What's it called? This one's set up weird here. Uh, wasted Youth. Black Days. Days as in D-A-Z-E. It's upside down color. And it opens up here. I really hate that. But, whatever. I just picked it up because of the cover. This cover's kind of cool. Never heard of this band before. <clears throat> and I picked up some non metal, another band from my youth, with a song that I used to love a lot. And it was only five bucks. Flock of Seagulls, first album, with Iran and Space Age Love Song. Oh, this one. I hadn't seen this one on vinyl anywhere. I only know one song off of this. Burning, uh, Beds Are Burning. It's Midnight Oil, Diesel and Dust. That's a cape fold. Yeah. Um, I decided to pick it up just because it's good to have music 
in my youth that I remember listening to or seeing on MTV. Even if I only know like one song. And this is one, an older one that I was two years old when it came out. Kansas Mask. Um, Kansas stuff's hit or miss for me. Like their Talisman, I think it was. It was alright. But I've seen a couple people say this is one of the best. It was like their second album, I think, or third. <coughs> and then another album from my uh, teenage years. Georgia Satellites. It's just Georgia Satellites, right? Yeah. Well, the big hit on here was uh, Keep Your Hands to Yourself. They had another one, I think, on here, too. Well, maybe not. Yeah. Georgia Satellites. That's fairly cheap, too. Two more here. Since I picked up Gamma 1, they had Gamma 2 there at Exile, so I picked this up. I still haven't listened to the Gamma 1 yet. And last but not least, a band I vaguely remember from my teenage years. Um, not sure if I remember them. I picked them up. It was cheap. I've never seen it on vinyl. I think they came out. Yeah, when when the hair metal started to decline, so they didn't really take off. This band's called Hurricane. Um, Over the Edge. Now this album, see, it's definitely metal band, glam metal. What's interesting about this was, I believe, it was fairly cheap, it was, well, it was $10. Now, the next aisle they put these tags on the plastic on the outside, you know, it says what the band is, how much it is, the condition, and why it's that condition. Which is nice, I like that. But, as I got home and I was looking at this, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this or not. But right, let's see, right there, there's a signature. I didn't know whose signature it was. And I couldn't, doesn't say anywhere on this record who the band members are. I had to look it up. So, I believe this signature belongs to the drummer at the time who Jay Shellings, Schilling, Shellings, I believe it is. That's what it looks like when I looked up his name. You can't really see that too well. Right there. And under here, I don't know if that's another signature or just something he drew. But she apparently didn't know if there was a signature. I don't even know if it raises the price up, because it's just the drummer. Even though drummer's the hardest working person in the band, in my opinion. There's a, it's an Enigma, older Enigma label, or newer, I don't know. It comes with this, no lyrics or anything, just trying to sell all the records on it. So those are my pickups today. That is it for today. Now, if anybody knows about this signature, if it's worth anything, is the guy still alive? I know a lot of band members, not a lot, but some band members die or whatever, overdose, get in a car accident, something. Maybe I should look them up myself. Anyway, that's it for today. Third one in two days. Um, I'm not going to probably make another one until next weekend. So, I got to go to the post office and send something out to somebody. Which, I'll tell you about in a later video. Um, 
Until then, keep rocking.